Hi, this is only a glimpse of the course content. You can see a light gun and you fire a single wavelength of light, the white one which hits the glass screen. And you can see the white light splitting into the seven colors. That's called dispersion, basically refraction. And as the seven colors hit the other end of that prism and come out into fresh air, they again undergo a bending. The seven colors stay as the seven colors and they fall on a screen and then you can get patterns of light. Now, an important thing to note is that if we shoot a single wavelength of light in a single plane, you will get the refraction in the same plane and you will see a knife edge. So let's uh, walk around the prism and take a look at the 3D animation. You can see a knife edge now as we look at the gun in the same plane, uh, which means that the refraction happened in this case uh, exactly vertical because we shot a beam of white light in a single plane. The principle of the refraction is very briefly shown here. The white light comes and strikes the screen um, and there is a normal drawn there at the point of incidence and then the seven colors split and on the other side of the prism you can see a lot of normals. So as the uh, second uh, refraction takes place, the second bending of light at the other end of the prism which exits into fresh air, uh, you can see how the uh, spreading happens. So due to the double bending, it's easy to catch the seven colors uh, separately on a screen and uh, please note the wavelengths, the red uh, wavelengths uh, are really the longest, 750 nanometers and the violet the shortest at 380 nanometers. And uh, this sketch shows you that if you shoot a single wave of light, which is actually practically very difficult, you'll get seven dots on the screen. If you shoot a round beam of light through a torch, you should get seven circles. Thanks and have a great day.